I'm Raf, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to mint your own NFT on Stellar. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy, and it's super cheap. It's like 25 cents right now to mint, and it's directly on chain. The website I'm using is lightmint.com. It'll work on your cell phone, no extensions required uh, to mint using Lightmint. Once we've minted, it's going to look something like this. We're going to have our creator page, an asset name, we're going to have a description. Uh, maybe a long description, and of course our picture. And uh, Lightman actually supports videos or even music. So if you want to do some different types of content, you can. So to get started with Lightman, we actually have to go and log in. If you're using mobile, this looks slightly different, uh, but all the features that we're talking about are there. So for example, once you're gonna need to, to log in with your wallet, you're gonna have to just do it from the hamburger menu here. So first things first, let's go and log in. I'm gonna go and log in with a magic link, but you can log in with a Facebook or a Google account if you wanted to. Paste in my email. And then in my email, I'm gonna go open the email that was sent and then log in by the link. Here you go. Hence the magic link. Okay, so you can see my icons changed. I'm logged in. Now let's go and tie our Stellar wallet to this account. I'm going to select the Albedo wallet. And then I'm going to share my public key with Lightmint. So this is my address down here. Now I can go and click on create to mint an NFT. I'm going to go choose a file that I want to mint. Now I'm going to give it information about my NFT. So for example, the supply, how many do I want of this to exist? Do I want 500 of these or do I just want one? I just want one. I'm going to give it a name, pilot number four. And then I'm going to set a short description And it's not necessary, but you can give more information and make it more personable. So I'm going to go and add some more content to my NFT. And to make your content discoverable on Lightmint, we can go and add some tags. Again, these are optional, but it's good practice. Next. So a Tom L file allows you to kind of give more information about your asset. We're gonna let Lightmint do all the heavy lifting here. So we're just gonna click on next. Give your, your asset a code. So it's gonna be pilot four and I am the issuer. You can even on Lightmint do unlockable content. So for example, if you buy this NFT, you get a secret message, or if you buy this NFT, you unlocked a full comic book. We're not doing that today. Let's just go and create our item. And it's still uploading here. It might take a few seconds to finish this. Okay, let's go and sign the transaction in Albedo. And then this asset will belong to us. Confirm, put in the password. Go. Congratulations. So this is minted. This is on chain. Let's go to our item page. Now you're going to see on the top here, it might say uh, not safe for work or unverified account. To get this message to disappear, you need to verify your account. And until you do, your NFT can only be discoverable by someone sending you the link. So highly recommend you go and give happiness at lightmint.com an email and ask for verification. And this will allow your content to be discoverable on Lightmint by anyone. Uh, and once you do, it's gonna be very easy to go and sell your art.
So I hope this helped. I'm Raf, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Chat soon.